you don't go to Target and say, man, that's the bomb, because it clears out the whole <laughs> store. But, uh, yep, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, that was pretty exciting. And then today there was a recap, I guess, a uh, robocall saying there's a bomb, there's a bomb, there's a bomb. But, yeah, they didn't clear out anything, so anything could happen. Surprises. Oh, uh, got a new job. Got a new job. So I finally got health care. So, yeah, yeah, new job with health care. So I, you know, had some questions. So I went into the doctor, finally using my card. So I said, Doc, I said, I got, I got some questions. I said, you know, I'm getting up there and I haven't had kids, you know. And he's like, well, we'll kind of investigate that, you know, because they know it's a fresh card. So they're like, they did some tests. We did some consultations. Finally, he came in the room and sat me down. He says, now, Jeff, I got to tell you, we did some research and we did those lab tests. And he said, you know, upon ejaculation, he says, there has to be another woman in the room. So I'm dating now. Yeah, that was the reason I couldn't have kids. Oh, now, now dating is pretty hard nowadays. I mean, you know, it's, it, it, you know, I, I had a little, you know, I, 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 uh, when I was younger, you know, the other guy said, you know, hey, to get a girl, what we do is you sit in the back of the Catholic Church. Yeah, when the girls go to the holy water and start gargling, those are the girls you want to go out with. So, uh, so but now, now it's a little bit different. You know, you got to go on Tinder, swiping right, swiping left. And girls that are my age, they don't have very good pictures except for that glamour shots they have. So, yeah, so I'm swiping through glamour shots now on Tinder. Oh, uh, but uh, you know, uh, another friend gave me some, some tips. They said, you know, if, uh, he says, if you go to a party, how you get the anxious ones is you start a rumor that you used to be a porn star. Yeah, then you get the adventurous girls that are, that are ready. But uh, no, that, uh, that didn't work there. So, yeah, the, now the bad part uh, um, about technology now, with all the phones that are going around, he says, you know, you, you, you can't get drunk and drunk dial somebody. They know exactly what your number is. You know, I said, no, but I can do it. I just call my grandma. She still has a, a cell phone, but she also has Alzheimer's, so she doesn't know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and, and the thing about old people uh, that, that I kind of like, when you're talking to them, eventually they, they get up there and they have no filter. You know, they just say whatever comes out, you know. So uh, this one girl was dating a coworker, and she was kind of scandalous playing around. And this old lady says, see that girl over there? Says if she had as many pricks sticking out of her as she did in her, she'd be a damn porcupine. <laughs> oh. Yep, that was that was that was pretty good. I, I, I like that one. Yep. Oh, now um, the the best thing about driving a bus with a bunch of people with Alzheimer's is you can go and look at Christmas lights and just keep going around the block and think it's a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. And they've never met you before, even though you're the one driving the bus, and they're getting off when you loaded them. So always finding new friends. That's a oh, that's a that's the good thing. Now I got to go into this story since it's getting cold out. Um, Thanksgiving, we we had some people come up from the south, and they're they've never seen snow before. They said, Jeff. I understand that cold weather kind of makes you, 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 certain parts of the male anatomy shrink. I said, well, yeah, it does, you know, turtling effect. They say, well, now, how does that actually feel? I said, well, he says, he, he says you know, turtling, I just, I can't get that concept down. I says, well, imagine that uh, what you feel like when your girlfriend told you that she was pregnant. I said, yep, that's what turtling feels like. He says, well, damn, what does Sub-Zero feel like? I says, well, Sub-Zero feel like 
when you have to tell your wife that your girlfriend's pregnant. <laughs> that's what uh, that's what Sub Zero feels like. Well, I'm Jeff, and I'll leave you with that.